Con! Con! <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? This is my review of Masters of the Universe Classics, Cobra Con. And here is a look at the packaging. Cobra Con, Evil Master of Snakes. On the back, you have a look at other figures in the line. Evil Lin, King Hiss, Trapjaw, Scareglow, and Skeletor. A read-up on Cobra Con, the character. And on to the figure itself. Well, I recently reviewed the vintage 1980s figure here on the right. And I wanted to get my hands on the classics, the more updated version of the Cobra Con figure. And so here is just a, as you can see right there, just a height comparison. But I like the fact that uh, Mattel basically has re basically retained all of the design elements of the original uh, vintage figure and translated it into a bigger figure. So that's really cool. And you can see it does share a lot of the design elements. The, the color is really similar in terms of the green. Uh, you have these... Uh, brown, I guess you call them scales, I could be wrong, but the uh, the way they look and the color is just really uh, translated well into the new figure. Uh, things like the uh, green here, uh, this is sort of a, uh, I would say a really a bright green, like a flore uh, fluorescent green, uh, which also is present on the uh, new figure. So really well well done, and and that's really how Mattel has done all of these uh, classics figures, just basically taking the uh, older figure and, you know, taking some of the design elements, some of the color schemes, and, you know, basically updating it into a new, greater, better figure. So, um, you can see they share basically the same weapon. They really uh, uh, translated that well into the new figure as well. So there's a look at both of them. Uh, height comparison there. Uh, let me go through the articulation really quick on the uh, vintage 1980s one here, just so you can see. Uh, swivel at the neck, swivel at the shoulders, uh, shoulder, shoulders cannot go out. Uh, you have rotation at the hip, and that is all you have for articulation on this vintage Cobra Con. And of course the, uh, the vintage figure also had the, uh, the gimmick where you can fill this with water and it would spray out of his uh, uh, mouth there through that little nozzle. Uh, so you do have that. <clears throat> but looking at the new figure, uh, we can go quickly over articulation. Uh, the head can go around as you would expect it to. It's on a ball joint. So you have articulation there. Uh, shoulders can go out like that. And of course they can go around. Although it just, yeah, they can go around. A little bit tight there. Uh, swivel at the uh, bicep there. Uh, bend at the elbow. Swivel wrists. Uh, you do have a uh, ab uh, articulation right there. Uh, there is no waist articulation, but I don't think he really needs it. Although, actually, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, there is waist articulation there. Uh, you have articulation at the hip, uh, which in terms of the range of articulation, the uh, leg can go out to the side like that. Uh, forward... I'm kind of pushing it, but like about that, you can see it runs into this brown uh, plastic here, which actually is a little bit flexible, so you can actually push the leg up like that, and not not too far back like that. And then you have a just a simple bend at the uh, at the knee, and you have a swivel at the top of the boot, which the boot actually is really nicely detailed there. I just noticed that you can see there, nicely uh, sculpted. Uh, you do have uh, this type of motion with the ankle, and you have the little pivot there, which is nice. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, they just did a great job at uh, basically updating the figure for uh, modern times, which is nice. Uh, nice uh, scale sculpt there. So yeah, the other accessories that come with this figure are this thing right here, which I'm not sure what this is. If you can see there, it almost looks like a uh, like a baby. If you can see there, there's the face. Uh, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to be used. I mean, it does sort of fit in the hand. I really don't know 
you know what that is for, but it's there. It's part of the figure, or it comes with the figure. So you have that, and then you also get this extra head, which is really nice. And you just pop the uh, head off here, and pop this one on. There we go. And you can basically dramatically change the look of your figure, which is nice. So it is nice to have that extra uh, optional head, which is cool. Uh, not a whole lot to say about this, uh, although I have to say I'm really glad to have the classics version of the uh, of the vintage figure. So nice to have both of these, uh, really cool. Uh, like I said before, this is a, a figure I had as a child uh, growing up in the 1980s. So uh, the character itself is really um, has a lot of sentimental value, I guess, as uh, being a kid and. Uh, growing up and watching the uh, He-Man cartoon, so there you go. A look at Masters of the Universe Classics, Cobra Khan. Thanks for watching.